the former Solicitor General uh, Hilby said the Senate should investigate about the informal agreement between the two presidents. So what does the panel say about it? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alam nyo, itong mga kandidato nung mga nakaraan, they have been overwhelmingly repudiated by the electorate. And the issues they have raised against the president and this administration have been factored because yan ang naking linya nila, paulit-ulit na linya nila against the president and the administration. At tinanggihan na nga sila, ay ayaw pa rin silang maniwala na hindi sila pinaniniwalaan ng taong bayan. So, sir, itong particular na issue na ito, confident po kayo na hindi nito maaapektuhan ang popularity ng presidente in the coming months. And Definitely. Is... At saka, alam nyo, sinasabi nga ni presidente, it doesn't matter to me kaya popular ako, hindi. Basta, ang gagawin ko, what I will do is I will perform my duty in the Constitution as directed to me, which is Section 2.0. Oh, Section 4, Article 2, saying that his prime duty, being the head of the government, is to serve and to protect the people. Di ba? Sige, paulit-ulit niya sinasabi. Ang problema kasi, sa mga <laughs> hindi nakakaintindi ng sinasabi ko, hindi na naiintindihan nila, like yung sabi niya, did you allow? Ang klaseng tanong nga naman yung did you allow? Sinasabi na nga, na yung China, as far as they're concerned, owns the entire South China Sea. And they're in possession. Ano mo ang klaseng tanong yung allow? Paano mo i-allow? Nandun na nga sila eh. Kaya nga nag-uusap tayo na huwag tayong magkasakitan. Yun ang hindi naiintindihan. That's exactly the word of the President. So, sir, you maintain the position? Oh, yes. That is the position of the President. Not my position. I'm just echoing the position as a spokesman of the President. If you cannot agree with that, eh, wala tayong magagawa, eh. Ganyan talaga yan. Meaning, sir, the verbal agreement is legally binding. Oh, yeah. Eh, nangyayari na nga, hindi ba? Yung kung ano yung napagkausapan nila, nangyayari na. Hindi tayo pinapakialaman sa ribang. Pagkatapos, pinapabayaan na mag-fish yung mga fisherman natin sa Carver Shoal. O, hindi ba? Ano pa ba tawag mo doon? Thank you, sir. Okay, questions. MPC. Janelin? Ahem. Microphone, please. Sir, may we get the palace statement on the recent missile test conducted by China? The missile test conducted by China. Hindi mo sabi ni Secretary Lorenzo na we will conduct our own inquiry on that kasi wala tayong personal knowledge. Will the palace ask China to at least explain what happened? We will investigate on our own. We will do it our way. Okay, questions? Joseph? Sir, um, the Pentagon, uh, the U.S. No, has already confirmed mm. also <clears throat> the report of the CNBC. What do you think of these actions uh, by the Chinese? Well, I, we will investigate and then we will make our official stand. We will not rely on the say-so of whatever source. Well, you cannot describe it yet, sir. Kasi no, I don't know. You don't think that's possible that they're testing the missile? Well, whether it's possible or not, we will have to wait for the inquiry. So, just a little bit on the verbal agreement. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, because it's dapat medyo. <clears throat> okay, it seems that yesterday, si Secretary uh, Negrales is saying that yung pong sabi ni Presidente na uh, will you allow, in question, no? Will you allow the fishermen, the Chinese, to fish in the <clears throat> seas? And then said, of course I will. Ang, ang sabi po nila dyan kahapon, Secretary uh, Nanograles, hmm. is that it is a compass, it's a wish, it's a desire of the President. But for that to be enforceable, it has to be reduced, as uh, Marcel pointed out, into a document. Meaning, anong coverage, mga ganun na mga bagay. We don't have to proceed to that, sir. Gaya nga nang sinabi ko, yun ang interpretation niya. <clears throat> Alam mo, he's a lawyer. And... As I've repeatedly said, even when I was in private practice, there are as many opinions as there are lawyers. Kung yun ang basa niya, eh, yun ang basa niya. 
but the position of the president remains the same. It has not changed. Kung ano yung kwenento niya, exactly na nangyari, narinig ng lahat ng cabinet members yun, at mangyayari ngayon. Um, can, I'll be direct. And this is the same question that was uh, mm. given to Secretary Loxin. Can the Chinese fish in our EEZ? Diba? Sinabi na Kaya na, yes, ulit, sir, I get the point. Ko yung sinabi, kung you get the point, why do you have to no, ask? No, no, no. Anyway, ulitin ko yung sinabi ni President. Ang problema kasi, yung tanong na yun, na will you allow? Ano bang allow? Eh, nandun na nga sila. They're there. As far as they're concerned, they own it. O, oh, kaya nga kami nag-usap nag, uh, na lang na, o, oh, pwede ba? Yung wag istorbe nyo kami mga mga manging isla doon. O, oh, 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 nagkausap kami. O, oh, hindi ba nangyayari nga? Hindi na sila in-istorbe sa Scarborough. Hindi naman sila nakikilam sa Red Bank. O, oh, ano pa bang tawag mo doon? Okay, sir. I'll rephrase oh. the question. Will we prevent China from fishing in our easy? Basta yun ang posisyon ni Presidente. May usapan sila. Na yun, yun na yun. As is na yun. Should the Coast Guard reinforce uh, our laws when there is poaching? Ang Coast Guard, alam nila ang gagawin nila. Meaning? They know their duty, so we will leave it to them. And the duty is what, sir? Oh, they, you ask them. They should know. They're the Coast Guards. And we don't know? You know I don't think so you know because you're asking me. <laughs> the Coast Guards have their own specific duty in accordance with law. Yes. You want to know their duties, then you have to look at the law, exactly what their duty is. And under the Fisheries Code, they will have Basta, to prevent. Huh? In answer to your question, in under the Fisheries Code, they would have to prevent poaching, whether it's from China, Vietnam, Indonesia, or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Do you agree that they should do that? They should know what to do because they know their duty. That's my answer. Okay, uh, Julie. Sir, just a related question. Um, marine scientists from the University of the Philippines said that the Philippines loses about 33.1 billion annually from the damaged ecosystems at Panatag and Spratlys due to China's reclamation activities and illegal fishing operations. First of all, is the Philippine government aware that the damage or losses to the Philippines has reached this magnitude? And second, what has the government done to address it? First, we do not know about that. We have to let the particular agency or department responsible for that. And I think this this is under Department of Agriculture, CMP series. They should conduct a study on that it's, it was to validate that particular finding of one particular group. Yeah, it was conducted by uh, marine scientists from the UPS MSI research. Kaya nga, we will have to make our own study. Thank you. What do you think should be done to prevent, if, if proven true, what do you think should well, be done to prevent? Pag nandun na tayo, then we will know what to do. Right now, hindi natin alam kung totoo nga yun o hindi. Don't you think that this kind of uh, report would uh, necessitate preventing Chinese fishermen from destroying the assumption na totoo. Eh, hindi pa nga natin alam. Kaya nga, sabi ko nga kanina, we will have to study. We'll, the, de the specific department concerned with that should conduct an inquiry on that matter, and then the government will undertake measures. But in general, the government is alarmed with... Hmm? In general, is the government concerned or is alarmed with this kind of findings? We will always be concerned if it affects the security of the state and it affects the general welfare of the people. Yes, sir. Okay, questions, MPC. Uh, Rosa Nikos. Sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Hi, sir. Rosalie. Sir, another report says um, mas marami daw pong foreign vessels na lumalapit sa coastline ng uh, mga probinsya ng bansa sa West Philippine Sea. So, hindi ba to cause for concern? From 2016 to 2018. Kanilang report yan? Whose report is that? Karagatan Patrol, sir. Ano meron? Gobyerno? A private? Oh, then we'll have to validate that. The West Philippine, the West, Western Command should validate such report. Sir, doon po sa verbal agreement. Hmm, doon pa rin tayo. 
Move on. Sabi nga ng mga nareaction. Ate, te, move on ka na. Te, ha? Nandiyan pa rin tayo? Abay talagang Kasi mga sir, reaction. Oh. Di ba President Duterte during uh, his oath taking in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, ang, ang sinusulong niya po ay transparency. Oh. So yung verbal agreement po is the palace willing to show to the public. Sabi niyo naman po na may record noon. At oh. documented. Oh. Is the oh. palace willing to show it eh, to the public? sinabi niya na nga exactly as it transpired. Kung ano yung sinabi niya. We should trust the president's words. Besides, nandun kami. And we, all of us are saying, narinig namin lahat yun. O ang sinasabi naman ni Presidente, ang problema nga dyan, yung, yung policy niyan, eh silang may hawak ng buong karagatan. Kaya hindi natin po pwedeng ipagpilitan ang sarili natin sa kanila kasi nagre-react din sila. Ay, kaya nga, I want to avoid any armed hostilities. Ay, hindi na ako mag-aantay ng magkaroon ng gulo dyan. Ay, yan ang sila. Klarong-klaro ang presidente. <laughs> kaya nga sinasabi ni presidente, baka simple lang, hindi nila maintindihan. Yun nga, sir. So don't you think there's, uh, there's a... Ay, hindi na. Kasi ang confusion is in their minds, eh. Yung no, napakabinet, yung mga ambasa kay Presidente, gano'n. Eh, klaro naman, ang klaro naman yung ano. Very clear yung sinasabi ni Presidente. So you're talking about Kabsek, Nograles, and... I'm referring... No, I'm, I'm talking to... I'm referring to everyone, including you. Mm -hmm. All of you. Ay, eh, kung yan ang basa ng dalawa, eh, ano magagawa natin? Sir, the fact that there is confusion on yeah, the well, issue, sa, as far as we are concerned, need to do something about no, it, sir? as far as the president is concerned, and I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned also, very clear ang sinabi niya. Pero hindi naman it's, na... There is no room for any interpretation. So exactly, sir, there's no room for any interpretation, especially within the administration. So don't you think there's well, a need to clarify... As far as the president is concerned... Yun ang yung posisyon. Yeah, isa lang ang posisyon. Kung ano yung posisyon ng presidente, yun na lang. Yun na yun.